Hello, this is uh, our toilets, our lovely toilets here at Grow Heathrow. This is Simon here, he's going to talk to you a little bit about our process here. Okay, so yeah, we're doing like, we're composting the human waste. Um, as a general sort of introduction to composting, you've got two types of composting. The one that everybody knows is hot composting, the, the traditional compost heap, which releases greenhouse gas needs to be turned regularly can go a bad kind of anaerobic composting there are some disadvantages to traditional compost heaps what we're doing here um, is anaerobic composting um, the, the traditional hot composting heap is aerobic it's using oxygen we're using a form of anaerobic composting uh, there are two types there's the bad type which is called putrefaction which is as it sort of sounds, it's disgusting, stinky, nasty stuff. Um, and then you've got fermentation, which is what we're doing here. Uh, exactly the same as you would use for making beer and wine and stuff, exactly the same bacteria in use that actually exist in the human stomach, lactobacillus amongst many others. Um, and they're further digesting our poo, basically literal human waste. Um, and turning it into much more, like within three months, we've got material which is completely innocuous. I'm happy to grab in my hands and go, oh, look at this nice potting compost. So that's the theory. It's sometimes known as bakashi. It's, basically, it's just fermentation, anaerobic bacteria that are continuing to ferment the waste. Um, so now we're going to swap, and Willow, who I will introduce you to right now, go on, Mr. Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's going to show us the practical side of it and what we're, how we're actually applying these ideas and how amazing it actually is. Yeah, yeah. So uh, these are our toilets, as we mentioned earlier. Um, what we do here is we use a wheelie bin system, which uh, each toilet will fill up over about a month, uh, and at the same time um, as us doing this we'll do what, what uh, you know what is also known as dry composting where you add sawdust or wood shavings um, but mixed in with these wood shavings as Simon was mentioning earlier is our bakashi mixture which, or, um, which helps to digest the, the poo really fast it uh, kills all the pathogens um, making it safe to handle um, so yeah we'll fill these up over a month period um, and when they're full we take them out we close the lids, these ones around us. This allows them for the anaerobic uh, digestion to start. Uh, and then after a month, um, we empty these really bins out into an open area of composting. We can walk over to. Yeah. <coughs> these are our compost bays. Uh, still kind of in the process. And inside here is a mixture of our human manure, um, which is come from about the last six months of emptying wheelie bins into this area. As you can see, it doesn't really look like poo. It's uh, it's resembling that of soil. Um, yeah, so much to the point that, you know, like, we have no problem in holding this. Let's grab a handful of it out in the light, because it's harder to see and it's not such good quality light. So this literally is like three or four month old human shit that you're looking at here. Mixed in with sawdust and bakashi. And obviously you can't smell it from here, but that smells like wood chip. It's sweet soil, yeah. right? It doesn't smell bad at all. Yeah. You know, if it was, if it did, I wouldn't be holding yeah, it. Yeah, me too, yeah, me too. Sure. So yeah. So um, let maybe let's show the toilets too. Yes. So these toilets we uh, we have named squat or not uh, for reasons why one of them is a sit down toilet and one of them is a squatting toilet. Um, squatting is actually a very good way of going to the toilet, it's very natural and it's actually what helps our hips. Absolutely, so, the reason that half of Europeans have piles is because they sit down to take a shit. Don't do it, it. Yeah. be a squatter. I'm going to show you the, the, the not toilet, which is the sit down one, uh, and then we can move on to the one next to it. So, inside here, just like any normal toilet, we have a toilet seat. Right. <laughs> and a diagram on and how to uh, use it. Um, and inside we have this blue barrel which contains our sawdust and bakashi mixture. Go on. Um, and bit. inside here, see it looks just like sawdust. Actually resembles a little bit like the poo, but it's not. Um, yeah, so this is sawdust laced with lactobacillus bacteria, basically yeah. stuff yeah. to encourage the fermentation to happen. 
yeah, and for every time we use the toilet, you just put a couple of handfuls down the toilet, and you know it's autonomous in that way. It just works on its own. Uh, uh, you know, yep, it's and the other system. maybe the other reason thing to say the reason the lid is on is because of that uh, anaerobic process we want to keep that like lactobacillus working anaerobically so the lid on that sawdust keeps it growing basically yeah, keeps it so. fermenting uh, and then maybe the beginning of the process the beginning of the process like the aha uh -huh, yeah of course the culture defining our culture so this here is a cultured uh, a culture of effective microbes that you use to start up making bakashi. A bit like sourdough in a way, you take a small amount of your culture and you add it to more of the amount. Like with sourdough, you add you know you add your sourdough starter to more flour and more water to expand that. With this it's a small culture which is collected leaf matter from a forest floor uh, which contains all the different microbes, lactobacillus, phototropic microbes. Um, and what you then do is put this in a jar, seal the jar uh, with leaf matter, wood chip, uh, molasses for a sugar source, and rainwater uh, or dechlorinated water is really is is the best uh, breeding ground for this for these effective microbes. You will seal the jar, leave it for a month. After a month, you've then got a solid culture of effective microbes, to which then you would add to more sawdust, more molasses, more water and then seal uh, that bigger bucket, like the blue one inside uh, in the top. Can I just add one thing? So like after that month, so like the way of sort of no knowing that it's actually worked, when you open the jar, you get the fermenty smell, vinegary, yeah. fermenty, yeasty, sort of sweet, nice smell. Yeah, that smells like pickled leaf matter. That's the smell of fermentation, which yeah. is the, the bacteria we're after, basically. So. Yeah. And yeah. you use that to make your bakashi with, you can see that stuff online, there is uh, tutorials on how to make bakashi bran, um, you can use sawdust instead of bran, um, you know, which is... Do it for free! Yeah, it's, it doesn't cost you that much money in that way. Um, and then you leave that for a month, and after a month what you'll get is your bakashi mixture. Such as, we've got one in here, we haven't we? We do have one in here. I think it's got another culture in here. Uh -huh. So the the milk that's a yeah that's a side thing in a way. Oh wow! This is uh looks quite compressed. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's going to be interesting to uh, open up, isn't it? Possibility we've made a bomb. Here, <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. No, it's alright. Okay, so in here it looks like just wood shavings, but it's mixed in with bakashi. And what's been happening is an anaerobic fermentation. It smells a little bit pickly. It does. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is that wood shaving stuff yeah. we're using that's kind of got a bit of a... You know, this isn't the best wood shavings that we've used. Um, it came uh, through our, our wonderful um, local resource of tree surgeons. But um, it's kind of a... This is a rotting wood chip, but it still works. It still works in the same way. So what, like, when it's working well, what you do is, like, get these jars that we talked about, so you're culturing the bacteria literally just from the environment. You're just giving them a bit of food... You're sealing the lid so that it's anaerobic and you're waiting a month yep. and then you take that and you get like this yeah not ideally not rotted basically any old sawdust as long as it's reasonably fresh or even wood chip and you just add it in you add the leaf matter into there and then you seal it with the lid and you give it another two weeks to a month yep. at which point that whole thing will start you'll get that fermenty <laughs> sweet smell and that's what you then just add down the toilets that's the barrels that we saw in the toilets yep. And it means that it's carrying on fermenting even, you know, literally as you have a poo, you're chucking in some of that bacteria and it's carrying on what your stomach does, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And to keep a culture of this alive, all you need to do is, when, when your ferment's finished, when this is made, you take a jar amount of it, add some more water and molasses, and then you've basically got yourself a culture. And we've been doing that for the last six months. So every bakashi that we make has come from the original effective microbes that we created six months ago. Um, just like you would do with sourdough. Keep it light. Yeah. Nice. Um, cool. Okay. Um, I don't know that there's much else to say. We can... 
like okay so some of the bins like an example of what didn't work like these two bins over here this is before we knew about the bakashi um, so neither of these bins were having bakashi added as they were in use um, so this one is foul basically this is what happens if it doesn't work that really stinks it's nasty you can see the number of insects in there you so that is an example of what how, not to do what not yeah to do. Um, and when you do get it working this is what comes out of the bins basically and that will actually hot compost then as well um, you can wait one year to be absolutely safe to use it um, and then it's recommended to do like fruit bushes and stuff like this rather than root crops but yeah the human year handbook has some more information on this but basically we're looking at a way of turning like literal human poo into like that which I've grown stuff in um, within three months um, for free basically using bacteria that exist wild in the environment using wood chip it's a very valuable yeah. resource that we would otherwise just flush down the drain which you know pollutes our oceans and isn't really the most effective way to deal with what we call waste but you know uh, as you know there is no such thing as waste <laughs> yeah Not really 